everybody, welcome back to G uh, to Mark's Bible Study, and today is the 21st of May, 2024, it's 10.50 a.m., it's 80 degrees outside, it's, uh, it's very beautiful, it's very beautiful today, but later on it's gonna get a little, a little bad, but that's okay, and um, I hope you have a great, you're having a great day at school, at work, whatever you are, you listen to my Bible study, and today it's about, uh, it's about uh, the fall of Babylon, which we're gonna be preaching today, Revelation chapter 17, because it's very important, uh, Revelation chapter 18, because it's very important to understand what is the fall of Babylon and the land of confusion is, because Babylon is a fallen city. The Babylon is a fallen city, which is the land of confusion, which is the city with pure evil and with pure madness, with pure uh, bad things. The Babylonians were like warriors, were warriors that mm, they were like uh, 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 they were like warriors of uh, very uh, and very ba uh, very evil and bad character. So we're gonna talk about. Uh, so we're gonna talk about today the fall of Babylon and what, how the wrath of God came into the uh, came into the city of Babylon and wiped out the whole city that destroyed the whole city of Babylon. We're going to talk about this. So, let's read Revelation chapter 18. Uh, Re uh, Revelation chapter 18, the fall of Babylon. After all this, I saw another angel come uh, down uh, from heaven with great authority and the uh, and the uh, uh, and the earth bring uh, bright with his splendor. He gave a mighty shout. Babylon is fallen. The great city is fallen. She has become a home for demons. She is a hideout for every fall spirit, uh, false spirit, a hideout for every full violent uh, vulture, and every fall and dreadful animal. For all the nations have fallen because of the wine of her passionate immorality. She, uh, she uh, it's still talking about the great prostitute. And still talking about the great prostitute. The kings of the world have committed idolatry with her. That is about the great prostitute again. Uh, idolatry with her because of her desires for extravagant luxury. The, ma uh, the mantras of the world have grown rich. Then I heard another voice calling from heaven. Come away from her, my people. Do not take part of her in her sins, or or you will be punished with her. For her sins are peeled as high as heaven, and God remembers her evil deeds. Do not do, don't do to her as she uh, has done to others. Double double her punishment. For all her evil deeds, she breathed a cup of terror up for others, so, uh, so, br uh, so brew twice as much for her. She glorified herself, herself and lived in luxury so much in now which terminate in sorrow. She boasted in her heart, I'm the queen on my throne. I'm no helpless widow. And I have no reason to mourn. There's, uh, therefore, there's pledges will overtake her in a single day. Death and mourning and feminine. Oh my goodness, there's lots of things here. She will be completely consumed by fire. She will be com uh, consumed by fire. For the Lord God who judges her is, is mighty. And the kings of the world who committed idolatry with her and enjoyed uh, her great luxury will mourn for her as they see the smoke rising from her cherry remains. They will stand at a distance, terrified by her great torment. 
they will cry out. How terrible, how terrible for you. Oh, Babylon, you great city. In a single moment, God's judgment come on you. Come on you. The merchants of the world will weep and mourn for her, for there is no one left to buy their uh, gold, silver, jewels, and pearls, fine linen, purple silk, purple silk, uh, and scarlet cloth, things made of fragment, uh, fra uh, fra uh, fragrant, uh, they uh, fine wood, every goods and objects made of expensive wood and bronze, iron, and marble. She also bought cinnamon spice, incense, mirror frequencies, wine, olive oil, fine flour, wheat, cattle, sheep, horses, wagons, and and bodies that is human. That is human slaves. The fancy things you love so much are gone. They, are, uh, they cry. All the, your luxurious are splendor are gone forever, never to be yours again. The, ma uh, the merchants uh, who became wealthy by selling uh, her these uh, things uh, will uh, will stand uh, at the distance, terrified by her great moment. They will weep and cry out. How terrible! How terrible for uh, for, for that great city. She was clothed in the finest purple and scarlet linen. She uh, the, um, uh so uh, yeah uh, it was uh, uh, that uh, so the uh, the uh, decade um uh, out with gold and precious stones and pearls in a, a single moment. All the wealth of the city is gone. So it's still talking about the great prostitute. So the great prostitute was the queen, a queen of the city of Babylon. But the city of Babylon is fallen. The city of Babylon has fallen. And the great ci the city of confusion, the great city of Babylon is completely fallen. It's fallen. And all the uh, uh, captains of the uh, merchant ships and their passengers and so uh, sailors and crews will stand at the distance. They will cry out as they watch the smoke ascend, uh, ascend and they will say, Where is there another city as great as this? And they will weep and throw dust on their heads so show their grief and they will cry out. How terrible, how terrible for that great city that uh, the ship owners become wealthy by transporting her great wealth on the seas. In a single moment, it is all gone. Rejoice over her fate, all oh, heaven and people of God and pro uh, apostles and prophets. For uh, at last, God has judged her for her sakes. Then a mighty angel picked up uh, a boulder, excuse me, the size of a huge millstone. He threw, excuse me, and then he threw it into the ocean and shouted, "Just like this, the great city of Babylon will be thrown down in, uh, with violence and will never be found again." The sound of harp, singers, flutes, and trumpets will never be heard in you again. No craftsmen and no trades will never be found in you again. The sound of the meal will never be heard in you again. The light of the lamp will never shine in you again. The, vo the happy voices of brides and grooms will never be heard in you again. For your ma uh, masters, uh, Martians, will the greatest in the world, and you uh, deceive the nations with all, uh, with your sorceries. In your streets, flood, uh, flowed the blood of the prophets and of God's holy people, and the blood of people slaughtered all over the world. So this is the fall of the great uh, of the great, great city of Babylon, which is the land of confusion.
The, the great prostitute was the queen of the Babylon city, which, uh, which was, uh, which was pure evil in there, which is the, which is the, uh, social, uh, the bad, the bad, uh, the bad things in there, in the city of Babylon, the angel said, the angel shouted, it is fallen. The angel shouted, it is fallen. Lots of cities in America are like the city of Babylon. For example, for example, that once, uh, the capital of Nevada, for example, the, you know, sometimes the, you know, I, for, uh, I always uh, afraid to say it, but uh, but uh, that's uh, always uh, good to uh, to have something to have something afraid to say. Anyway, uh, anyway, the great city of Babylon is falling apart. It's falling apart because of wrath of God. Because of wrath of God, what it says in the Book of Revelation, chapter eighteen. What it says in the Book of Revelation, chapter eighteen. The sound from heaven says that uh, the angel shouted that the Babylon, the great city, the land of confusion is fallen. The land of confusion is fallen. How did it fall? Because of the wrath of God. Because of the wrath of God. God didn't like what was happening in this great city. So he got all mad, and uh, the angel poured the wrath of uh, God, uh, poured the wrath of God right in the middle of the city of Babylon, and the great ba Babylonian city was fallen. There were all those Nephilims and uh, the uh, the queen of all. Uh, the mothers, uh, the mother of all prostitutes, will were were the queen. She was the queen of the city of Babylon. There's all demonic spirits. There's all uh, nephilims and all those other things. <coughs> Excuse me. They were the causing the building of the uh, of the city of Babylon. Was not good. The city of Babylon was not good. Was not good. Was not good. The lamp will not shine. Nothing will. Nothing will be working. Not nothing will be heard from this. Um, uh, from this city because the city will not. Will will not exist again. Because will not exist again. The fall of Babylon is coming to uh, is uh, coming. The fall of Babylon is coming. The whole world uh, we are living kind in the kind of Babylonian city because we are dealing with evil, but with good people also. With uh, with good people we are dealing with, which is uh, which we are we de we are dealing with God. But we are dealing with also with people who can hurt us, who can really, who, uh, who do not like us sometimes, who, uh, who want to hurt us. This is the, gr uh, the great city of Babylon is gonna fall. It's gonna fall into pieces. Bo uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna, uh, going to be, Mm, it's going to be fall into pieces. This is what the God, uh, what the Bible is saying that the Babylon will fall apart. Now nothing will evil happen when Satan will be defeated because Satan is the one who created the city of Babylon. But in other words, but in other words. It says, it says the great prostitute is the queen of, is the queen of the city of Babylon, and that's why God, God said to the angels, destroy the city of Babylon because there's pure evil in there. See what I'm saying? And this is what it, this is uh, uh, this is my friends. This is how the city of uh, city of Babylon was completely destroyed, was completely burnt. 
means that the world, the, this world that we are living in, will be, uh, will be bur uh, burned from God because of the seven seals of the seven trumpets because of the seven balls the wrath of God will this world will be uh, will be terrorized by this but this is for your own good my friends this is for your own good because God will restore the whole world again and we will be living with him in heaven we will be living in earth uh, in earth but with him. <coughs> Excuse me. So the thing is, God is telling you the truth all the time. The Bible is always saying the truth. In the book of Revelation, will happen everything what is in the, uh, what is written word after word it will it will happen will happen and you cannot turn on uh, turn around from this but this will god happen and in heaven and in heaven you will be have you will have mercy, everybody will be nice to you, everybody will be friends with you, you will have your own home in heaven, because you will not die, you will not die, you will not cry, you will not be angry, you will not be tired, you will not, you will not do any of this, you will not be taking care of the bills to the finances and all that stuff because everything will be free you will be living in luxury you will be living in luxury in heaven and god is telling you that that the doorknob from uh, the gate the doorknob from the gate of heavens is opening for you is opening for you, is open for you, so you will enter to the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is near you, but you just have to do some certain things before, before you will go to heaven. You have to grow up some more, you have to get more older, and you, uh, and you, ta-da, you are in heaven. Everything Everything will be new in heaven. Everything will be new. There is going to be nothing, uh, nothing dirty. Everything is going to be clean and perfect in heaven. The springs, uh, the springs will be, um, the springs will be, uh, the springs of the water will be el uh, edible all the time everything will be edible every uh, everything will be uh, you will be drinking you will be having a great time in heaven heaven is a very good part heaven is a great part heaven is the holy word Heaven is the holy word, holy place, the holy word, and God created heaven for us. God created hell for Satan and for his demons, and for his people, for his demons, for his, uh, for Nephilims and all those other people who did bad things. But we will not do bad things because we will go to the holy place. We will go to the holy place. We will go, we will say, because heaven is a holy word. You know, it's very important to understand that, it's very important to understand those uh, kinds of words. Earth, heaven, paradise, those are holy words. Those are those, those are those things that you should, uh, that you should remember that the holy word is heaven because heaven is created by God. See what's, uh, see what's going on? You know, 
uh, other people are following you to the kingdom of heaven, your friends and uh, your friends, your relatives, your family, you follow God, they follow you. They follow you. They follow you what you're doing. They follow you what you, uh, they follow, uh, they follow you because they're your friends. They're your family and they're following you to the kingdom of heaven. They following you. You follow God, but they following you. See what's going on? And the word heaven is a holy word. Is a holy word. Word family is a holy word. Word, uh, word friends is a holy word. Remember about this. That all those words, heaven, friends, family, uh, all those other stuff, uh, all those other things are holy words. Those positive things are holy words. Those are the words of encouragement. Listen to the words of encouragement. Don't listen to the lies that Satan is telling you or a bully is telling you because the bully is a because the because Satan is getting uh, giving the authority of a bully to pick on you to make fun of you because you believe in God because you, you because you think you you better than him because uh, because Satan thinks that he is better than God but that is not true because God is better than Satan see what's going on. And this is what you have to follow. The words of encouragement, the holy words. You have to follow the holy words. The holy words. Those are the words of encouragement that you should listen. The, the, forget about the past. Forget about, forget what happened yesterday. Forget what happened, for, forget what happened yesterday. Forget what happened uh, what happened like two years ago? What, uh, forget what happened fifty years ago. Focus on the pleasant time. Focus on the future. Focus on the pleasant time. What is today is more important than what happened in the past. Because the past is over. You cannot go back there. You cannot go back there. You cannot go back to your childhood. I wish I could, but it's not possible. It's not possible to go back to your childhood and fix all the whole childhood elements that you should have done and you did some things that you shouldn't do. But you cannot go back to this. You did some things when you were a kid. Uh, uh, I did some things when, when I was a kid. What I should, uh, what I should have done. I should have been more friendlier. I should have been more. Uh, I should have been more uh, happier. I should have been more. Um, I sh uh, should have uh, uh, better people around me. But but sometimes people choose the way that. They don't want to be, they, uh, sometimes people are choosing the way that they don't belong. Sometimes, uh, because evil stuff, because evil things are not things to do. Are not, uh, uh, because evil things, when, when you're doing evil things, you're going to like, like a fire. When you're doing good things, you're going to the heaven. You, you're going to the heaven places. Heaven is a holy word. And this is what is going on. That the whole thing. That the whole thing is completely stopped. I should have done things what should have be done. Forgot to be nicer to my. To my. Uh, to my old friends. From. From my childhood. But sometimes you're doing some mistakes that you really want to regret, uh, that you really want to regret what you just did. And you didn't do, that you didn't do the right thing. 
Sometimes it's like this. Sometimes it's like this. That you, you forgot that has to be done completely, completely differently, and now you feel bad about it. Don't think about the past things. Think about the pleasant, the future. Think about the words of encouragement. Think about the words that God is telling you, that the good people are telling you. That the good people are telling you because the good people are with you. The bad people are not with you because you're the follower of Jesus. The good people, you belong to good people. You belong to people who are the, uh, who are God's worshipers, who are your disciples. You belong there. You belong with God. You belong with people who are nice to you. You belong with people who are friends with you. You belong with family that is nice to you. You don't belong with people with some aggressive, uh, uh, aggressive wasp behaviors. You belong with people that they, they don't want to hurt you. They want to encourage you. They really want to help you. See what's going on in here? And this is what's going on, and this is what happened in the city of Babylon. My life, my childhood was a city of Babylon. But what you expect? That's already passed over. You are a different person. You grow older, and now this is over. Which, which sometimes, sometimes people are regretting uh, their childhood. But this is what's. But this, this is how the life works. That sometimes. Sometimes we're doing things that we should have done, that we, do, we are doing things that we, uh, that we should have done. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing about this fallen world that, that every single thing can turn from wrong to good, from, uh, sometimes from good to wrong. We are not geniuses in this world, my friends. We are not geniuses in this world. There is lots of disappointments that happen in this world that they are very unacceptable. That they are unacceptable. And this is what we are living with right now till God returns. Thank you so much. And thank you so much. I hope you will be safe. I hope you have a great week. I will see you. Thank, excuse me. I will see you on Thursday. I will see you on Thursday. You have a great Wednesday. You have a great rest of the day. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. God bless you. And let Jesus be with you all the time. God bless you. And I will see you next time.